seven or eight months ago when we were in the convention centre. I was the first TD to hand over a booklet to the government and to the head of the Dáil here at the Roctus of a purifier air system for schools. And I asked for a couple of them to be put in here to the, in here to the Roctus so we could actually return here to the chamber. I was the first person to do this and I have not yet got any feedback from the government or from the Roctus about what on those machines. Now we have cases in schools where we have temperatures have gone down to 7 and 8 degrees in classrooms because of ventilation. I go back eight months ago, I brought this to your attention and nobody listened. Now every TD in the house is commenting on ventilation systems for schools. Eight months later, the man from Limerick told the government and gave them the booklet for us and now everyone in the house is on about purify, purifying air systems for schools. I had a concerned teacher on to me last week, more than one, where there are schools that don't have the adequate area for students to do social distance. So the children are asked, or teenagers are asked, secondary school, to leave the school and stand in different pods around the school during their lunch breaks or during their breaks. Some of them are above on wet grass. And then asked to come back into school and sit down with wet feet, cold, with the windows open and ventilation coming through the building at eight and nine degrees. I've also been told of schools that have closed their canteens for students in their schools because they say they can't create the proper distance to get people in and out for their breaks. There's vulnerable children doing without food because of circumstances maybe from home. And they close the canteens because they say it's the COVID guidelines. Minister, I'm asking you please, yourself and Minister Norma Foley, will you talk over mental health of the leaving cert students that are afraid because they're missing so much time in their schools and their exams are coming up. I have third year students now that have never, they were third years and now in leaving cert have never sat a state exam. They've never sat it because of predictive grades. There's massive, massive implications from health. Not only for the students, but for the teachers that are telling the students that they're so far behind because they've missed school time over COVID and over being close contacts. Parents are absolutely at the end of their tether, worrying about their children. We have students now that are leaving school and going to after school studies six and seven days a week to try and catch up because they've been told they're so far behind. We have to make a decision and the government have to make a decision that we need to put in the predictive grades now. Give the decision now. And for these students are trying to compete with people that have got predictive grades. We still have the same situation. This is mental health. This is the health of our teachers, the health of our students. This is going to be here with us for years to come. And the knock-on effect is that the third years haven't sat state exams. And this is going to be a mental health problem for years to come. So please, Minister, please talk with Minister Foley and talk about okay. predictive grades for okay. mental health. Thank, Thank you, you. Deputy.